Once every school year, the University of Central Missouri comes together to remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy by hosting a Freedom Scholarship Dinner. This dinner celebrates three distinguished students from extenuating circumstances with award aid to help lessen their financial burden while attending UCM. I spoke to the youngest recipient of the evening, Mariah Woodson, on what receiving this award meant to her. It was a bit surprising because, you know, I'm young and I didn't think I would receive any kind of uh, scholarship. So this was kind of like the very first scholarship that actually means something. So it's kind of like a big thing and it's special. Once finding himself homeless, living on the streets and attending a university himself, Jay Todd spoke to me about the cruciality of this scholarship for minorities as well as different avenues on campus available to help students face adversity. There was one recipient who said, you know, with her getting these scholarships, it's only kept her about $2,000 in debt. That's a big deal, especially for minority college students, because a lot of us do have to take out so many reoccurring loans with so much of high interest. And, you know, we go to get our education, but then we end up coming out with our education and a huge amount of debt. So with that scholarship, you know, it's, it's helping them have a little bit more financial freedom as far as getting their education, giving them something, one less thing to worry about, whether it's books, whether it's going towards housing. I mean, housing is also a great worry, you know, for students who come from extenuating circumstances. It's very difficult, I'm not gonna lie to you, because um, I don't know anybody in my family that had that college experience, so I didn't really have, like, anybody to talk to. So stepping in, like, College is just a new ball game. It's different from high school, and it's a big transition into being a college student. Our past president, President Ambrose, uh, you know, helped me overcome that adversity. And then, you know, also when I got here, I was struggling with academics a great deal. And that's when I got connected to the TRIO program, which is, you know, geared towards helping non-traditional students like myself. And I mean, I'm not, I'm a non-traditional student. I'm a first-generation student. Plus, you know, being homeless and not having that much financial aid and assistance outside of school. Um, you know, overcoming those adversities at the university, with having these type of people here, these type of resources, these type of organizations and programs, it really helped me obtain not only, you know, my bachelor's degree, but now my master's. So, you know, it's, it stuck out for me a great deal. I have a dream, a message that is now 56 years old, yet still resonates with our generations and continues to be taught to our prosperity. But what exactly does I have a dream mean today? Being a black man at a predominantly white in institution, um, his dream meant everything to be here at this exact spot as it, at this exact moment. Um, I mean, just the ability to get education without any restrictions, um, the ability to further you know, your mind power, to further your knowledge, to further your connections as far as you know, just being an individual, not just as a black individual or as a white individual. So, I mean, that's a great deal of what his dream meant to me, especially with me obtaining my education. Uh, keep going, don't ever fall back or have any doubts. Um, just keep pushing through. If it gets hard, you can always ask for help or you can try to figure out yourself. I just know if you have a dream for something, just go for it and then just make it happen. Who I am and where I'm at is not going to coincide where I'm going and where my people are going. So it keeps me more steadfast in what I want to do for my people, just like it did for Dr. King when he was here. I'm very grateful that I received this scholarship because um, it just identifies who I am and I'm just a black woman on campus trying to pursue her dreams, so um, that's what I'm doing. The presentation about uh, Martin Luther King, it gave me just a refresh about everything and what he did, what was his pur purpose of his speeches, how he traveled everywhere to do, talk about anything, and it just inspired me as a person. and to just go for my dreams, that's it. Not us, then who? If not now, then when? Um, if I, you know, see something going on and I just wait for somebody else to step in, it might never get stepped in too. It could be the same things happening over and over and over and over and over again. The cycle of injustice, the cycle of, you know, oppression, the cycle of just abuse and just negative things towards our people can constantly keep going on. So, you know, with me, I was one of those people where I got so tired of being involved in it and seeing it happen time and time again to where I had to at some point step up and say, okay, well, we have to make a change. And if not we, then myself first for myself and then for others around me. Reporting for Lowdown, I'm Ranjanae Hills.